Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling something huge. Uh, it's not just if alien life exists, but really how incredibly far away it likely is. Yeah, and that distance, that scale, it leads straight into this massive contradiction astronomers grapple with, the Fermi paradox. Right. Where is everybody? Exactly. And, you know, when you look at the source material, you've got to distinguish simple life, maybe like bacteria, algae. That could be relatively common. Okay. But for the paradox, we need to focus on technological societies, ones that communicate. The distances involved change completely depending on what you're looking for. Got it. So let's start close to home then, the known neighborhood. We know there are tons of exoplanets, right? Mm -hmm. Statistically, they even outnumber stars. Mm -hmm. And we've found some really nearby candidates like uh, Proxima Centauri b. Just 4.2 light years away. Yeah. And it's in the habitable zone, the Goldilocks zone. Right. Not too hot, not too cold. And there's Gleasing 1002 b as well. Also close, cosmically speaking, about 15.8 light years. So the hope is maybe simple life, algae, like you said, could be detected relatively soon, James Webb Telescope, perhaps. That's the exciting prospect, yeah. Looking for biosignatures and atmospheres. Let's see, those distances, four, maybe 16 light years, that's for basic life. Okay. When we start talking about $9, the number of communicating civilizations from the Drake equation, things get, well, messy. Ah, the Drake equation. This is where the speculation really kicks in, isn't it? It is, especially those last terms, like what fraction actually develops intelligence, and the big one. Yeah. Uh, the average lifespan of a technological civilization. That seems critical. So what happens if we guess? Well, if you're optimistic, maybe dollars is a few thousand years. In that case, um, the nearest neighbors might be just a few hundred light years off. A few hundred. Still far, but maybe detectable. Maybe. But what if civilizations only last, say, a few centuries before they, you know, collapse or destroy themselves? Then the distance just explodes easily into the thousands of light years. Or... Maybe the closest ones are in Andromeda, 2.5 million light years away. Wow. Or they just don't exist anymore. They blinked out before we could ever know. So even a sort of middle ground guess puts civilizations thousands of light years apart. Very likely, yes. And this is where the physics just feels crushing. A light year is what, nearly 6 trillion miles? 5.9 trillion miles, yeah. yeah. It's hard to even conceptualize. So let's make it practical. If someone is out there, say, a thousand light years away, Mm -hmm. What does that mean for actually talking to them? It means a conversation is basically impossible. You send a message, hello. It takes a thousand years to get there. Traveling at light speed. At light speed. Yeah. And then if they reply immediately, their message takes another 1,000 years to get back to us. So 2,000 years for one round trip. Hello. Hi, back. That's exactly. Two millennia. It renders any kind of meaningful interaction, any cultural exchange, just completely impractical. And 